My clock says it's 8.30. Good evening, sing-alongers. Welcome to week 40 of Tom Carradine's self-isolation sing-along. Yes, can you believe we are still here? We are indeed. So grab your song, what's Carradine's company, singalong.co.uk. And as we do that, get posting in the comments. And I'm asking this evening, what is your favourite cracker joke? Dodgy Christmas track cracker jokes. Can't guarantee to read them all out. But uh, Faye will uh, read out the ones that amuse her most, <laughs> the most. So your no favourite... No pressure. No pressure then at all. So your best Christmas cracker jokes. Uh, inspired by Valerie Remnant's comments on some messages I, we had the other day. So uh, to get us into the Christmassy mood, here's page two in your song books. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Ross nipping at your nose. Tide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loading lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly So I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas to you it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look in the five and ten Glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow Have a banana Beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight you'll see Is the holly that will be On your own front door Well, you better watch out you better not cry, you better not pop, I'll tell you why. Hope you're singing along at home. He's making a list, he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping, creeping. He knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pat, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town, he is indeed this evening, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane, high in the sky you'll see his reindeer pulling on the rain, bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. Hang your stockings, say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Fake get those sleigh bells ready. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring, ting, tingling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Yoo -hoo. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. I think it is up north, isn't it? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go, let's look at the snow. We're riding a wonderland of Trixie's photos, looks amazing. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand, just holding your up in Durham with snow. We're riding along with a song in a wintry fairyland. Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy cosy. You got snow, pop it in the comments. Snuggled up together like birds of a feather should be. Just uh, cold here Take the road before us And sing a chorus or two Or three or four Come on, it's lovely weather For a sleigh ride together with you Keep it going, fame Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride In a one-horse open sleigh Have a banana Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! Hey. There we go, the wonderful Faye Caradine on sleigh bells there.
We're going to move straight on. So many requests and shout outs this evening. So uh, do excuse me. We're going to move straight on. But to a Christmas carol, the one of the, the Holly and the Ivy. This one re requested by Linda Holland, one of the sing alongers. Hello, Linda. <coughs> she says, just a favourite Christmas carol from my childhood. And it takes me back. I hope it takes you all back. The lyrics for these are in your song books. No, I can't tell you what page it's on. I'm assuming it's on page four. four. Thank you very much, Faye. Much appreciated. Um, so, and this is probably a bit too high, actually. I don't really want to be doing it in this key. Um, that's better. Here we go. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears a crown. All the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a blossom as white as lily flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our dear Saviour. All the rising of the sun and the running of the deer. The playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears are berry, as red as any blood. And Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do poor sinners good. Oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer. The playing of the merry organ. And sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a prickle as sharp as any thorn. And Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ on Christmas Day in the morn. Last time! The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. Oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. There we go, the holly and the ivy going out to Linda Holland. Sorry, apologies, I had to pop up during there. My phone was saying that I've got 20% battery left, so I need to just double check um, whether we're running on, uh, on uh, charge on this. So bear with me one moment, callers. I shall be back in just one moment. Shall I do some jokes? The noise. Hopefully we are back. There we go. That lovely pingy noise. The uh, we are we do appear to be charging now. Hopefully we won't fall off air this evening, and the audio interface is working as well. Hopefully I'm coming in loud and clear to you. As usual, my beautiful wife Faye over on comments over there. Hello, Faye. Hello, hello. I'm just going to check. Do you want to speak so I can see if one I can two hear one you? two? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think I've just realised I'm on a time delay, so there was no point in doing that. <laughs> well, you can leave them in. There we go. No, that's confusing because then I hear you through the headphones slightly after you. Well, if I'm if I'm working all fine this evening, I don't know what the gremlins are doing this evening. But uh, pop a link, pop a thing in the comments just to tell me that you are. So uh, yes, Faye, have you got any comments or shout outs coming in already there this evening? Um, I've been getting jokes. Oh, brilliant. Go I'm on. A, give I'm us getting a, a bit behind, though, because I have to ring bells. Oh, sorry. Go so, on. Um, What's, what are your best ones so far? Okay, so Daniel Gillum said they don't actually have crackers out there, but he does have a joke worthy of it. Oh, so, go on, Daniel. Why are steam engines so naughty all year? I don't know. Why are steam engines so naughty all year? Because they want coal for Christmas. Hey, yeah. broom. Good job. Actually, Andrew's got one. Andrew, you, you hop over to Mummy's mic. Andrew's currently lying on the sofa. We've already read to us the night before Christmas. And uh, we've put our, our sherry, carrot and uh, mince pie out for Santa Claus. So go on, Andrew. What's your joke? What do you get if you eat too many decorations? I don't know. What do you get if you eat too many decorations? Tinselitis. Hey, broom. <laughs> there we go. Faye, any more for any more while we're there? Oh, okay. Another one. Uh... Why couldn't Mary and Joseph announce the birth of baby Jesus? I don't know. Why couldn't Mary and Joseph announce the birth of baby Jesus? Because there was no Zoom in the inn. Oh! <laughs> that is very 2020, isn't it? <laughs> there I we go. I think so. Topical. That's what <laughs> it we says have. it all. Oh, COVID. There we go. 
No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just be, be, we've been out today with the piano around the local neighbourhood for a socially distanced Christmassy sing along. So it was. It felt very bizarre to be getting the piano out of the van for the first time in about nine. Well, no, I've, I took it out for VE Day, and I've been out for another gig um, in um, Hornchurch a few months ago. But aside from that, the piano, um, uh, Kimberly has been in the van, so feeling feeling unloved. It's been a, a long while since I've been pushing a piano around, so it was nice to get out and entertain the neighbours here in Tunbridge. Um, there we go. Uh, good evening to uh, all of you regular sing-alongers. Nice to see you. And this hand to wave to all of my... Uh, any newbies? Anyone new in this evening? Pop in the comments below if you are new. So lovely to see so many of you joining us on Christmas Eve. It's precious time. So I am honoured that you've chosen to spend that with us this evening. Lots of birthday requests as usual this evening. So I'm going to crack on with a birthday this, if that's all right. I got a birthday shout-out for Aaron from Uncle Paul. Hi, Aaron. Um, and you got a song request as well. Because this song is Aaron's favourite as I've sung it to him, the, um, the old novelty song since he was a baby. He often asks me to sing it to him before bed and I dare not get the verses mixed up. Please, can we also give a shout out to his brother Reese, who is nine. Hi, Reese, And Tristan, who is one. Oh, Tristan, nice to uh, see you. All from Aberdare. Aberdare. Shout out to your three of you in Aberdare from Uncle Paul. Um, he's requested a little bit of the, a windmill in old Dampster Dam. This has become a bit of a sing-along favourite here at uh, Caroline's Company sing-along. Here we go, no words for this one. A mouse lived in a windmill in old Amsterdam. A windmill with a mouse in, and he wasn't grouse, and he sang every morning, How lucky I am living in a windmill in old Amsterdam. I saw a mouse. Where? There on the stair. Where on the stair? Right there, a little mouse with clogs on. Well, I declare, going clip kibbity clop on the stair. Oh, yeah. There we go. A little bit of a windmill in old Amsterdam for Aaron there from your Uncle Paul. Happy birthday to you. Another uh, birthday shout out is to Alison Kirby. There we go, Alison, from your husband, uh, Sibu Kumar. Sibu Kumar. Um, he says, my wife has loved your sing-alongs for a long while. We used to live at Wilton's. Not literally, obviously, but used to be go to Wilton's a lot. Um, and uh, they saw me, actually, uh, a wedding that I remember, did. Uh, actually, it was, it was just after Christmas, I think. Um, at the uh, Oh, no, it was Christmas time last year, because I had three gigs that day. Um, um, at the Baltic in Southwark. So, hello to you, Alison. Happy birthday to you. And she's requested a bit of the Lambeth Walk. Again, this one's not in the songbooks, but all the regulars know it. Oh, any time you're Lambeth Way, any evening, any day, you'll find us all. What do you find us? Well, every little Lambeth gal, with a little Lambeth pal, you'll find them all. What do you find them? <laughs> Oi! Everything free and easy, do as you don't well pleasey. Why don't you make your way there? Go there, stay there. Once you get down Lambeth Way, any evening, any day, you'll find us all. What do you find us? Doing the Lambeth Walk. Boy, there we go. Alison, happy birthday to you. Um, also, shout out to uh, Wynn Richards. Hi, Wynn. Uh, from Phil and Sue Stocker. It's your 83rd birthday today. Many, many congratulations. 83rd birthday. And also congratulations on becoming a great grandmother. Um, Phil and Sue say, Wynne is an amazing wife, mother, grandmother, and now great grandmother. She would normally be surrounded by a large family on her birthday, but we will all be Zooming her during the day and watching you in the evening. So glad you can join us and honoured that you've chosen to spend your evening watching me um, and uh, singing into a camera. But of course, I know all of you guys watching and tuning in. So win, happy birthday to you. Uh, shout out to David Carroll um, from uh, your um, uh, sister-in-law, Anne-Marie Cannon. Hi, Anne-Marie, over in the States. Um, yeah, your brother-in-law, who's married to your sister, Mary Kay. They live in Pittsburgh. And his birthday was the past Sunday, Sunday the 20th of December. So there we go. Happy birthday, David. And lots of love from Anne-Marie and Bob. I hope you are well. And equally, uh, Anne-Marie, uh, sorry to hear you've been in the wars with your with your eyes over the last week. And I hope you are well on the route to recovery for that as well. So Anne-Marie, sending all of our love from the Caradines to you. Um, and uh, finally, a birthday, a Tunbridge birthday this evening. Shout, big shout out. If, you can, if I shout loud enough, you better hear me in North Tunbridge. To Rachel Hallett. Hi, Rachel. And watching there with Gary, husband Gary up there. Your birthday today. There we go. Happy birthday to you. And uh, I'm going to dedicate this next one to you. But before we get there, Faye, have you got any birthdays over there? 
I don't. I have some other shout outs, but I can hold We off. shall wait. So in which case, I'm going to dedicate this one to everybody having a birthday today. That's Aaron, Alison, Wynne, David and Rachel, especially up in North Tunbridge. We're going to sing the first Noel. Beautiful carol. This one, author, um, uh, music, tra tra traditional carol. Um, it doesn't have a, um, a composer as such. Um, and uh, yeah, the author of the lyrics were unknown. Uh, 17th century, it says here. So grab your songbooks. Faye, what page are we on for this? I have no idea. Uh, four. Page four in your songbooks. And we're doing three verses of this one. Otherwise, we'll be here all evening. Here we go. The first Noel the angel did sing Was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay In fields where they lay keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night that was so deep No The lyrics for the second verse. They look, they look it they up. looked up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far. I've got the lyrics. <laughs> Out the desk can at the end. That hopefully some of you were doing that at home too. You were doing the desk can. I discovered it was higher than I thought. <laughs> Sorry, Faye. There we go. Many, many apologies. Did you say you got some shout outs there, Faye? I do. Um, I will kick off with a shout out for Nick Law from his wife Claire. He's been ill today, but he's done everything from child wrangling to present wrapping and cooking the dinner. So it's just shout out to him to say, I hope you're feeling better for tomorrow, Nick. Uh, Nick in Tunbridge Wells and Claire as well. Merry Christmas to you and hopefully you're feeling much better tomorrow. Um, another one is a shout out to Aaron Hater, who is Wendy Cook's son. And he's listening for the first time tonight with his grandmother. So welcome. Hello, new sing along. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. And actually, the last shout out I had was um, via Ash White, but on behalf of all the sing alongers, a really big shout out and a big thank you to you. Oh, that's very kind of Ash. Do. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. Well, um, yes, I do, I do want to say thank you so much for all your wonderful cards and gifts um, that you've sent this Christmas. I'm absolutely touched and honoured that you took the time to to either send a card or, or gifts. I've, we've been we've been blown away. Um, so thank you so much for your support and the wonderful words as well in cards that people have sent. Um, yeah, sometimes when it's when it's tricky pulling this show together every Thursday and yeah, where we are week forty. Um, aside from one week off the holiday, we've been we've been ploughing on through. And yet some weeks we're not up for it and we're not in the mood and stuff's been going on with with house building and and decoration and stuff. Um, really touched that you uh, that you enjoy this so much and um, that it's uh, that. As, you, as some of you say, it's made a real difference to you um, over this past nine, ten months now. So um, thank you so much for your very kind words um, and gifts as well this Christmas. And equally, thank you so much. Um, I can't tell you how much the support of um, donating to my virtual tip jar means as well. It means that I can keep doing this and, uh, and sharing my love of these songs with you, lovely people, and the community that we've created. So again, uh, a Christmas thank you from all three of us to you 
um, for for being our support and our community through this very bizarre year. Fingers crossed that 2021 is a much better one. So thank you. Uh, huge thank you to all of you. Um, uh, of course, uh, if you want to grab songbooks with us this evening, go to carolinescockneysingalong.co.uk. Still got merchandise. There are some fantastic tote bags. Still got a few Christmas decorations left. Obviously, won't be able to get them to you for Christmas. But if you want to put one away for uh, for next year, then... Um, Yes, uh, get onto the website to do that. And of course, as I said, you can donate to my virtual tip jar. If you enjoy what I do, you can throw some shekels my way. So thank you so much. Um, here we go. A little bit of... Uh, this was Larry Grayson, a little uh, little naughty Larry Grayson song. You have got the sing-along lyrics for the chorus for this. And as I always say, there is nothing more embarrassing than isn't going to sing along sung alone. So hopefully you'll join in. Is um, this the one where I spotted a typo? Yes, earlier. there is a typo in this one. Faye, what page are we on? Uh, we're on page four. And there's just a couple of... You know, key words missing from the first line. So, so the first line is, who's, who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? There we go. Here we go. A question you might be asking. Old Farmer Brown went to town one day, the sights of the city to see. He met a young widow and strange to say Fell madly in love with her that very day And then to the lady's delight He popped her the question outright Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Oh tell me I'd like to know now Who's going to give you a Christmas kiss Under your mistletoe bough? And who will be getting the presents? From under your very own tree Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Darling, please let it be me Now ladies, please listen most carefully And all of you gentlemen too When buying a turkey to take away On a Monday or Tuesday or some other day It may be that someone's quite shy May whisper these words with a sigh What are these words? Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Oh tell me I'd like to know now Who's going to give you a Christmas kiss Under your mistletoe bough? And who will be getting the presents From under your very own tree? Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Darling please let it Oh dear, please let it, darling, please let it be me. There we go. Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? A little bit of Larry Grayson for you then. Hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit of music hall innuendo. Faye, any shout outs and comments coming in over there? Uh, I've got a birthday. Go on, another birthday, go on. Indeed. It, uh, it's coming from Roger Davis. It's Carol's birthday on Boxing Day. So Carol, happy, happy birthday. birthday for you on Boxing Day. And we've got, um, well, it's not a wedding anniversary, it's an engagement anniversary, but uh, Josephine Danielson's parents have their engagement day tomorrow, 29 years. Fantastic. Congratulations. So, congratulations. What a lovely thing to celebrate in great engagement day. I suppose we are we, uh, St. We George's Day. It's St. George's Day, so it's easy to easy remember. Easy to remember, thankfully. Thankfully, there we go. Well, are talking about uh, uh, anniversaries and things. Of course, we have a very special wedding anniversary in this evening. The 30th wedding anniversary of Anne and Martin Glaister. Um, there we go. Shout out to um, Anne and Martin, the uh, two stalwart sing-alongers who really enter into the spirit um, each week and uh, just put us all to shame, really, with their, with their home decor and uh, fantastically laid out table. Um, and uh, just always blown away. And, and equally, um, it was Anne who sent the beautiful um, cartoon card of, uh, of the Caradine family um, the other week. And uh, yes, and, and the little and the little um, cucumber cucumber Caradines and the Andrew spoon, beautiful. So Anne and Martin, thank you so much for for choosing to spend your anniversary evening with us. Now Anne requested a carol for this evening, but also I've had a few more requests um, for the same for the same uh, anniversary. Now Martin requested um, the love we found from the Muppet Christmas Carol. Now a Muppet Christmas Carol is a is a is a film very near and dear to our hearts as well. We watched it in bed this morning at about seven thirty, and uh, daughters uh, Anne and Martin's daughters Sally and Lizzie requested it feels like Christmas, also from the Muppet Christmas Carol. And uh, they actually say we, we love them both very much and we hope that we can do something special when we're out of lockdown. 
Um, and also best wishes to Anne and Martin from uh, John and Helen Trim. They send their best wishes too. And because uh, I think I knew you guys were planning to be together to celebrate and have the single on the scene. But of course, in Kent, we're in tier four. So um, unfortunately, not possible. But uh, there we go. So, so much love um, and shout outs for Anne and Martin Glaister there. So hopefully you're having a fantastic anniversary. Your pictures again on the sing alongers page look absolutely amazing. Um, so there we go. Now, in order to sing The Love We Found and It Feels Like Christmas, there's only one thing to do. And that's sing the finale from The Muppet Christmas Carol, which includes both songs. So, um, yeah, we're going to sing that. What page are we in, Faye? Five. Page five. Well, I met someone who touched my soul and made my world brand new. This part of me, a place inside that now belongs to you. The love we found. The love we found. We carry with us. So we're never quite alone The love we found The love we found The sweetest dream That we have ever known The love we found The love we found We carry with us So we're never quite alone In the singing of a street corner choir It's going home and getting warm by the fire Cause true wherever you find love It feels like Christmas A cup of kindness that you share with another A sweet reunion with a friend or a brother In all the places you find love It feels like Christmas It is the season of the heart A special time of caring The ways of love may clear and it is the season of the spirit. The message, if you hear it, is make it last all year. It's in the giving of a gift to another, a pair of mitts that were made by your mother. It's all the ways that we shall love that feels like Christmas. A part of childhood that we always remember. It is the summer of the soul in December. Yes, when you do your best for love, it feels like Christmas. It is the season of the heart, a special time of caring. The ways of love may clean. Another key change. It is the season of the spirit. A message, if you hear it, is make it last all year. Singing of a street corner choir is going home and getting warm by the fire. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. There we go, a little bit of Muppet Christmas Carol for Anna and Martin Glaster there. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, I've got a snot monster on the sofa over here. You should have seen that. I think Andrew's brains came out then. In Wipe your hands properly, it's everywhere. Oh my word. There we go. So, um, there we go. Oh, I've got another shout out here. You shout out to Alison and David Lawrence. Um, fr uh, from uh, Jane and John. They say you are their O W and O H. I think that means other wife and other husband, if that makes sense to you. So lots of love from Jane and John uh, Wilson there. Um, uh, Alison and David Lawrence. Hi, shout out to you. Um, talking about um, uh, family, family kind of Christmas things. We we read towards the night before Christmas and uh, the Clement Moore poem earlier on this evening, as is tradition. For the Caradine family that I, yeah, my dad, remember, remember my dad reading that to me and my sister going back when we were teeny tiny. And it's something that we've carried on. I don't know what kind of traditions that you guys have as at home as well at Christmas. But uh, I thought we should, uh, there's a fantastic setting of that. Music by Johnny Marks from the 1950s, 1952. And uh, get us into the Christmas spirit because, hey, it's Christmas Eve. So it goes like this. <laughs> 
T'was the night before Christmas and all through the house Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse All the stockings were hung by the chimney with care In the hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there Then what to my wondering I should appear a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. A little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. And more rapid than eagles his reindeer all came. As he shouted, on Dasher! And each reindeer's name. And so up to the housetop the reindeer soon flew. With the sleigh full of presents and St. Nicholas too. Down the chimney he came with a leap and a bound. He was dressed all in fur and his belly was round. He spoke not a word but then straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose then giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Then I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. There we go, two of the night before Christmas. Oh my word. Uh, there we go. Uh, Faye, have you got any comments or suggestions coming in there? Any more jokes? Uh, yeah, yes, right. There's loads, loads. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Oh, this is quite an appropriate one. Uh, did you hear about the silly pianist who kept banging his head against the keys? Nope. He was playing by ear. Oh. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Oh, why did no one bid for Rudolph and Blitzen on eBay? Oh, I don't know. Because they were too dear. <laughs> oh, brumpt. Definitely a cracker joke there. Uh, right, let's see if my German pronunciation is sufficient for this one. Ooh. If German supermarkets run out of sausage and cheese, it will be the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. K-A umlaut S-E. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, di I didn't do it. Worst case scenario. Worst yeah. So. We're, we're scraping the barrel for some of these this evening. And so. there was one which another t appropriate for 2020. Yep. Um, why did production stop in Santa's workshop? Oh, I don't know. All his workers are self-isolating. Oh, there I've got we go. Plenty more for later. <laughs> plenty more for later on. Brilliant. Well, <coughs> another request. Lots more requests coming in this evening. We're gonna have to crack on with our requests if we're gonna get finished this side of midnight. So, um, uh, request from Michael Tremlett for uh, for a little bit of Gaudete. This is an old uh, song from 1582, apparently. Um, uh, like a uh, um uh. uh old kind of medieval thing really I'm um, sung in Latin and my Latin's not very really good so uh, I've uh, co-opted Faye in whose Latin is like no better, no than, better than mine but I thought we'd put her up to it so um, it was recorded by a folk band Steel Eye Span if you remember Steel Eye Span um, so here we go a little bit of Gaudete um, this is in your song books if you want to if you want to attempt your yeah, best Latin join in with me what let's not take on? it too fast, hun. That's probably the best let's, bit, isn't let's it? Let's take it. So you're going to take the, you're going to take this out at the top. Here we go then. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus et natus ex Maria Virgine. Gaudete, 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 Christus et natus ex Maria Virgine. Gaudete. Tempus adit gratiae. Quod opta bamus, come in our lady tea, devote redamus. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus is natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus is natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. Deus homo factus est natura merante, mundus renovatus est a Christo regante. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus est natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus est natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. 
Yay! Fake Caroline yes. on Scott. Cod Latin vocals. And you said titty. Oh, God, for goodness <laughs> sake. How old are you? There we go. How old am I? There we go. Took going more requests. This was, I was going to do this last week for uh, Helen Chambers. Hello, Helen Chambers, one of our regular sing alongers. Um, a Hawaiian Christmas song which was released by, I think it was Bing Crosby. Am I getting, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Mele Kaliki Maka. While we're on funny words, Latin, we're going to do a little bit of a one. This is in your song books if you fancy joining in. Mele Kaliki Maka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. Melekalinki Maka is a wise day to say Merry Christmas to you. Go on, pop your teeth in. Give it a try. Here we go. Melekalinki Maka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you, the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright, the sun will shine by day and will the stars at night. Melekalinki Maka is a wise way to say Merry Christmas to you. There we go. Actually, I'm interested. I can't remember. Is Mele Kalinki Maka actually a Hawaiian word? Or I think it's one of those ones that was kind of adapted to sound like, like I think it's like, a tra it's like a kind of very literal translation of Merry Christmas, but it's to do with swapping letters over. Someone might know more. I think I've read about that. There we go. Mele Kalinki Maka. Was it Bing Crosby and the Andrews sisters, I think, did a, did a version of that. So there we go. Many more requests in this evening. Uh, this one might take you back to your childhoods. It was on a starry night. Certainly takes me back to my primary school days. For Peter Parfit, it was on a starry night. This is in your song books. It was on a starry night When the hills were bright Earth lay sleeping Sleeping calm and still in a cattle shed, in a manger bed, a boy was born, king of all the world. Do you know the chorus? And all the angels sang for him, the bells of heaven rang for him, for a boy was born, king of all the world. Chorus last time, and all the angels sang for him, the bells of heaven rang There we go. It was on a starry night. That takes me back to sitting cross-legged in the school uh, assembly hall and singing that towards Christmas when I was a little wee, wee nipper. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Faye, have you got anything to come in on that? Uh, right. Yeah, go. Shout outs. Right. Uh, oh, we've got another shout out for someone who's poorly. Oh, no. Um, Ash White has said, sent in messages for Lucy because she's been poorly. But as she's mother, she's soldiering on like mothers do. So... Indeed. Hope you're feeling better tomorrow, Lucy. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you're feeling better and well enough to enjoy Christmas. Yeah. Nothing worse than feeling. I remember it was a few years ago when I worked so hard up to Christmas and Christmas Day, I just yeah. I went. I was I was I was kind of flat out in the afternoon, and it's terrible because you can't enjoy Christmas, can you? Yeah. If you if you if you like that. So, um, oh, Lucy, hope you're feeling much better tomorrow. Sorry. Um, I've got a couple of people who are in tonight. Leslie Hyde's granddaughters, Rowan and Hazel, are in tonight with their mum and man. Hello. And we've got a hello um, to Lola. Claire Laybourne says she stayed up specially for tonight. So Hello, Hi. nice to see you. Christmas Eve. You've got to go to bed straight after this so that Santa arrives. And that does lead me on to another joke. Go on, go think. on. Okay. Fire away, Faye. What did Adam say to his wife the night before Christmas? I don't know. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, shimmy cricket. There we go. Scraping uh, the barrel. I like that one. That, was, that one made me laugh. Brilliant. Well, talking about people who are unwell, unfortunately. Lots of people are unwell this evening. Uh, shout out to Nancy Usman uh, over there in the States. She says her daughter Ellie and our sweet Ellie is sick, which means no Christmas parties this year with her cousins. 
She's feeling a bit sad, and I know it would cheer her up to hear Frosty the Snowman. Well, that, Nancy, I can do. For you, Ellie, a uh, bit of Frosty the Snowman. This is in your songbooks. Let's hear you at home. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, happy soul. With a corncob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how we came to life someday. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, it began to dance around. So, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Thumbity thump thump thumbity thump thump, look at Frosty go. Thumbity thump thump thumbity thump thump, over the hills of snow. Hey, there we go, Ellie. Hopefully you're feeling much better soon and can celebrate Christmas. There we go, shout out to you. Um, Here's a little bit of Tom Lira for you. Christmas time is here, by golly, disapproval would be folly. Deck the halls with hunks of holly, fill the cup and don't say when. Kill the turkeys, ducks and chickens, mix the punch, drag out the dickens. Even though the prospect sickens, brother, here we go again. On Christmas Day you can't get sore, your fellow man you must adore. You've time to rob them all the more, the other 364. Relations sparing no expense, or send some useless old utensil. Or a matching pen and pencil, just the thing I need, how nice. It doesn't matter how sincere it is, nor how heartfelt the spirit. Sentimental, not endear it, what's important is the price. Hug the hair, or tribute sings, advertising wondrous things. God rest ye merry merchants, may you make the yuletide pay. Angels we have heard on high, tell us to go out and buy so. Let the rocker sleigh bells jingle, hail our dear old friend Kris Kringle, driving his reindeer across the sky. Don't stand underneath when they fly by. <laughs> A little bit of Tom Lira for you there. Fantastic. The, A Christmas Carol by uh, Tom Lira. Now, another request we've had come in, and this one reminds me of uh, my 10 years ago when Faye and I were actually in Dublin for Christmas. Uh, I was working on the tour of uh, Scrooge the Musical with the wonderful Tommy Steele oh, and the, the late, great Barry Howard as well. Absolute legend, great fun. Um, and the wonderful conductor Stuart Pedler on that production who have been involved right back in the early days from that show, um, from back in the Anthony Newley days, I suppose, um, only when it was originally written by Leslie Brickers. Um, so uh, yeah, many happy memories of spending time in Dublin over Christmas ten years ago, and uh, Faye came over and we we had a fantastic um, Christmas Day meal that we all cooked with with the orchestra and some of the cast as well. It was uh, it was absolutely mag a magical Christmas. And uh, being in Ireland for Christmas, um, I learned quite a lot of few Irish songs. And uh, here's one that I learned. I'm I'm being kind of recapping it today, trying to come back. I remember the chorus, but the the verses are a little a little cloudy. But because it was requested by Daniel Gillum, Daniel Gillum, one of our regular sing-alongers, um, requested Miss Fogarty's Christmas Cake, a typical musical song, this one written in 1883. Um, you've got the words for this, the chorus anyway, in your books. It goes... Page seven. Page seven, thank you. As I sat at my window last evening, the letterman brought it to me. A little gilt-edged invitation Saying Kilgooley come over to tea Sure I knew that the Fogarty sent it So I went just for old friendship's sake And the first thing they gave me to tackle Was a slice of Miss Fogarty's cake There were plums and prunes and cherries There were citrons and raisins and cinnamon too There was nuts Make cloves and berries And a crust that was nailed on with glue There were caraway seeds in abundance Sure would build up a fine stomach ache 
You can kill a man twice after eating a slice of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake. Give that course another try. There were plums and prunes and cherries. There was citron and raisins and cinnamon too. There was nutmeg, cloves and berries. And a crust that was nailed on with glue. There were caraway seeds in abundance. Short would build up a fine stomach ache. You would kill a man twice after eating a slice of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake. Now Miss Mulligan wanted to taste it, but really it wasn't no use. They worked it all over an hour, and they couldn't get none of it loose. Till Fogarty went for the hatchet, and Keeley came in with a saw. That cake was enough by the powers to paralyze any man's jaw. There were plums and prunes and cherries and citron and raisins and cinnamon too. There was nuts, make cloves and berries and a crust that was nailed on with glue. There were caraway seeds in abundance. Sure would be one a fine stomach ache. You could kill a man twice after eating a slice of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake. Hey, hey, there we go. Great little Christmas ditty there. Going out to Daniel Gillum over there in the States. Um, had a request uh, last week for uh, the little drummer boy. Come, they told me. Pum, pum, pum. And this is in the song box for Susanna Cater down in uh, South Sea. Nice to see you, Susanna. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, Faye's going to join me on this one as well. Maybe a cheeky little bit of harmony. Here we go. Come, they told me, pa ra pa pum pum A newborn king to see, pa ra pa pum pum How fine his gifts we bring, pa ra pa pum pum To lay before the king, pa ra pa pum pum ra pa pum pum ra pa pum pum So to honor him, pa ra pa pum pum when we come. Second verse. Little baby, pa ra pa pum pum I am a poor boy too, pa ra pa pum pum I have no gift to bring, pa ra pa pum pum that's fit to give a king ba ra ba pum pum ra ba pum pum ra ba pum pum Shall I play for you ba ra ba pum pum on my drum? I'm not entirely sure playing on a drum would be good for a baby, but here we go, and... Sorry? I don't know, the, the third time lyrics. Okay. It's all yours, Faye, and... They did that. And I played my drum for him. I played my best for him. Rubber pum pum. And then he smiled at me. Rubber pum pum. Me and my drum. Rubber pum. There we go. So I only realised halfway through that I haven't got the lyrics for the third verse of that. Thank you, Faye. Well done on that one. Yeah, and, uh, especially as I never come in at the right no, I'm point. I'm not entirely actually... convinced. Really, is, is playing a drum really the ideal? Yeah, but the baby smiled at the end. Everything's fine. I think it was wind, probably. It was doing a pin. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't think if you had a, if you had a, um, a baby, you really want to be playing a snare drum close. I don't think that's necessarily that. That's why we're... Faye, have you got any comments or shout-outs coming in oh, over okay. there? Okay, I have got uh, a shout-out that came in earlier. Um... David Wilson, a shout out for from Katie. They're celebrating their thirteenth Christmas marriage. Oh, so. congratulations, guys! David and Katie Wilson in Coventry. I um, haven't seen you guys in so long. Hopefully, when COVID is all been and gone, and I can get up to see my parents and my sister and family up in Coventry, that I'm um, all pop and see you as well. So I hope you guys are doing very well and uh, and having a bizarre Christmas, of course, this year. Though you guys are in tier three, so not that, that makes much difference, does it? Tears are tears, aren't they? No more tears. Well, slight change of um, happy new tier. Change of gear, but just Andrew blowing his nose just means this next joke is appropriate. Oh, go on, fire away, another so, joke. So, what's the difference between a Brussels sprout and a bogey? 
<laughs> I don't know what's the difference between a Brussels sprout and a pokey. You can't get the kids to eat a Brussels sprout. Hey! I like that one. That's good. Andrew does look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Ranger. He's got a big cold. So uh, there we go. And another request that's coming from Margaret Bond. Hi, Margaret. A request for you for Mary's Boy Child. This isn't in the songbook. It's whether I can remember it. Do you remember this one all? A long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible says, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now, hear the angels sing, a new king born today. And man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. All together! Hark now, hear the angels sing, a new king born today. And man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. There we go. Mary's boy child for uh, Margaret Bond there. Sorry. Couple of key, couple of chord changes there. I'm not entirely sure. Next year, I'll sort that out for you next year, Margaret. There we go. Hey, we've also a request from uh, Stuart and Mavis Clements. Hi, up to you. Uh, hi to you guys uh, tuning in from near Twinwood in Bedfordshire. Um, they've requested a little bit of knock knock rat a tat ho ho ho. Andrew, are you up for singing with Mummy? No, no, not on camera, but you can go over to Mummy's mic and mind. sing, can't you? This is, um, for those of you who've been tuning into uh, our advent calendar this year, behind the door today you would have found myself and my good friend Julian McDonald from Jules Guides. Shout out to anybody who found me through watching Jules' videos. I've had the great pleasure of working with Jules, collaborating with him over the last few years. Uh, actually, kind of six years, I suppose, really, knowing Jules. Um, and he's been, we've, uh, we've done lots of kind of collaborations together, and he used a lot of my music in his videos. So if you fancy some fascinating um, short videos on things to do in London and fascinating history about London, then go and check Jules out. If someone can pop a link to that in the comments, that'd be great. Um, uh, yeah, he appears today singing, well, I'm not going to give it away. He appears on the, on the advent calendar today. If you haven't seen it already, if you want to see that and the rest of the videos, the, all the, the days up to today, and we've got one tomorrow for you as well, then make sure you go across to my website and buy that in my shop. It's five pounds, gives you access to uh, 25 short videos of sing-along songs that we've had all the way through Advent. Now, that'll be staying up indefinitely. You can enjoy that. I expect at least until November time, and then I'll be refreshing it for next year as well. So hopefully you'll join us for a bit of an Advent countdown next year as well. Who knows where we'll be? At that point next year. But uh, Stuart and Mavis have re requested a little bit of knock knock rat a tat. This is a video that we that we all actually joined. Uh, Faye and Andrew were in last year for Jules's Christmas video. Um, and the chorus goes like this, if we can remember it. Are you ready? Here we go. Knock knock rat a tat. Ho ho ho. I dress up like a Santa so they can't say no. If your friends have been too busy, don't despair. So knock on the door, good Christmas day, because it's a time to share. Actually, I need to put my Santa hat on that for that one. There we go, put my Santa hat on, getting in the festive mood. There we go, that's better. One more time, here we go. A one, two, three. Knock, knock, rat a tat. Ho, ho, ho. I dress up like a Santa so they can't say no. If your friends have been too busy, don't despair. Knock on the door on Christmas day, because it's a time to share. There we go. Shout out to Jules Guides as well out there. Great job, Andrew and Faye. Thank you for that. Now, a few more, three more requests, for, oh, two more requests before we coming towards the end in our little finale this evening. So, uh, had a request from Janine and Mark Ramsey out in Belfast. Hi, Janine and Mark, regular sing-alongers. They requested a little bit of Christa Berg. Ooh, Lady in Red. Not Lady in Red. They requested A Spaceman Came Travelling, a fantastic Christmas song from uh, Christa Berg. Janine and Mark Ramsey out there in Belfast. Hope you guys are doing very, very well. Well, it's Christmas Eve. And uh, as I mentioned earlier on, and uh, we did a shout out for Anne and Martin for uh, their great fan, for their wedding anniversary, and of course they're great fans of Muppet Christmas Carol. Thought we would leave you, well, two, two, uh, no, three songs to go. Um, are are anti-penultimate, is that the right term? Yeah, yeah. no, two left, I think. Yeah, I've got two left. Yeah. <laughs> the anti-penultimate song this evening um, is another little bit of Muppet Christmas Carol. Andrew's going to come in, and our little friend Kermit the Frog and Fozzie Bear. There we go. So um, we thought we'd sing for you one of our favourites, a little bit of One More Sleep Till Christmas. This is in your songbooks, the last page, I think, isn't it? Um... There's magic in the air this evening, magic in the air. <laughs> the 
world is at your best, you know, when people love and care. Promise of excitement is one the night will keep. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. The world has got a smile today, the world has got a glow. There's no such thing as strange as when a stranger says hello. And everyone is family, we're having so much fun. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. Tis the season to be jolly and joyous. With the burst of pleasure, we feel it all right. Tis the season when the saints will employ us to spread the news about peace and to keep love alive. There's something in the wind today that's good for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Faith is in our hearts today. We're shining like the sun. And everyone can feel it. The feeling's running deep. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas Day. Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> there we go. Kermit and the Frog as well. Beautifully puppeted, puppeteered by Andrew here and Faye with Fozzy. Just before you get on to your last one, have you got another? We're going to go and do this one first. Yes. Uh, we've had a request. You don't know about this. Oh, okay. A request from Adrian Proof that I lead the sing alongers in a little bit of For He's a Jolly Good Oh. So. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us, and so say all of us, and so say all of us. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Oh, thank or, you. Nobody can deny, not quite sure. Oh, thank you, Fozzie. <laughs> <laughs> Fozzie and Faye, there we go. Excuse me. Ash oh, Andrew's, Andrew's, been, do, Andrew's been sorting out the comments while Faye's been on there. Ash, Ash White wanted to, wanted to hear your fuzzy bear oh. voice. Oh, waka, waka, waka. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Waka, waka, waka. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I wonder about the texture. My mother said never eat singing food. What, uh, oh yeah, we were just quoting everything today. Yeah, let's we not start because we won't stop. We won't finish. Well, it's, it's 9.30. It's almost time to uh, finish the single on this evening. Thank you so much for 191 of you watching this evening. Touch and honoured. I thought, to be honest, I thought we'd have a bit of a dip this evening as other people have people have better places to be and celebrations to have. But I'm, I'm honoured and touched that uh, so many of you have watched this evening and so many of the regular sing-alongs. So thank you for your help and support over the last, um, as I said, nine, ten months. Um, nine months. So, um, yes, and we'll be here next week. Uh, uh, New Year's Eve, we will be here. Oh, what time did we say? Did we say... Oh, we said 11 o'clock. We'll 11. do. We'll do 11 o'clock, running through. Who knows whether Facebook will be good to us, whether we were able to do that. Who knows? But we'll have, um, we'll have a... a sing along next Thursday at 11 o'clock to lead us into midnight so um there we go uh I might be a bit tipsy if I've been drinking all afternoon we'll see how we get on so um fantastic um we shall see you next Thursday at uh, 11 o'clock ready to, to ring in the new year with a good old-fashioned sing-along so as usual a few huge thank yous of course a few huge thank you to my son Andrew for being so well behaved even with his snotty nose this evening <laughs> so my beautiful wife Faye on comments over there thank you Faye have you got any final shout outs or anything there um oh, no hang on let me do at least an, uh, one more joke one more joke the let best me, for last no me, oh, well I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that because this that oh, Marcus has been interfering so I'm gonna he's been giving a joke so oh, go here on. we go why did Caesar get lost I don't know. Why did Caesar get lost? Because he was always Roman. <laughs> there we go. It says Do we it need all. to sack Marcus? Do we? I well, actually, know. on that note, a, a round of applause for Marcus Reeves. Thank you, our, our technical support. Um, thank you, Marcus, for sorting out all the social media stuff and all the stuff that I can't do while I'm live streaming. So thank you to Marcus for that. And I'm not technically minded <laughs> enough to cope with. Multitasking. We can't, we can't do it while we're on. So uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening. For those of you who have subscribed to the Advent Calendar, don't worry. We have one more video for you tomorrow. Um, 
with Andrew in again. It will be there by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Well, we're going to be up early, aren't we? So, um, yes, I've just got to remember to upload it in the morning. So, yes, see us tomorrow morning on the advent calendar. Um, now, this evening, there, are, there is no post-show um, lockdown lock-in over on the sing-alongers group. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we've got a few bits and bobs to do and here. And we need to get to sleep. Need to get so Andrew to bed. Need to get to sleep come. so that Santa can come. So, there we go. Um, so, uh, all, it take, all it leaves me to say is have a happy, happy Christmas. And, uh, yeah, look forward to celebrating, ringing in the new year yet next week with you. And uh, until then... Like the ones I used to know, where the treetops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your day. A merry little Christmas. Let your heart be loud. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. Next year, all our troubles will be miles away. golden days of yore. Faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. Someday soon we all will be together, if the fates allow. Until then we'll have to muddle through somehow. So have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Merry Christmas. Hope Father Christmas comes and delivers some fantastic goodies to you. And uh, have a great day tomorrow. And we shall see you next Thursday. Merry, merry Christmas. Christmas.